Saturday. <laughs> Last day of April. And grass is green. <laughs> sky is gray. Oh my goodness, that almost looks like a snow sky, doesn't it? Uh, and then right over Boston, just sort of like yesterday, uh, well, yesterday at sunset, uh, the uh, southern western edge of the cloud was right over Boston, made for a beautiful sunset. And I did put some more time in down by the worm farm yesterday. Got the hose out, did a little watering. Yeah, it's been pretty dry. So this morning, the wind is still from the north. There's the flag. And once you go south of Boston, just as far as, say, Weymouth, <laughs> There's nothing but blue sky uh, to the south and west. Oh no, there goes T-Rex across the neighbor's yard. So perfectly clear sky, and then from Worcester County down to Taunton, Massachusetts, the low spots got into the 20s this morning, I think around 26, 27. Uh, just a couple of degrees warmer than the record low temperature set on April 30, 2012. That year that was so warm uh, also turned uh, cold this time of year. Uh, not quite ready for the fire. I need calm air. When is the wind going to let up? Well, it's still coming in from the north, up in the sky. Mount Washington, 15 degrees. The low temperature there yesterday was 5, and that did break the record of, I think, 8 from 2012. And it's a ski day. The mountains are open. Probably some pretty fast skiing this morning. There was some new snow this week. I'm going to try and hide from the wind a little bit here. And that means you get to look at my peas and lettuce not doing anything. Oh, actually, there's some lettuce and some dill right there. And, of course, this stuff, uh, uh, that comes up, uh, what's that, scallion? Uh, so there are little herbs ready to go into the salads. The storm that was near Nova Scotia is slowly sinking to the south, but there's another one near Newfoundland that's backing in, so that's going to kind of keep the chill coming a little bit today. Uh, the sky is going to be mostly cloudy in the Boston area for the midday and then it's going to come sunshine in the afternoon late and the wind is letting up we'll actually probably end up with a sea breeze tomorrow looks awesome a uh, little wedge of high pressure is going to be in here sunshine probably about uh, 60 at the beach and 70 inland maybe outdoor on the deck at sundancers tomorrow in bass river cape cod some really nice sunday and then a warm front's going to come in here that storm from kansas boy did you see those tornadoes the chasers got yesterday there was no rain around them they were kind of high based they went all the way down to the ground they were terrible tornadoes but they were beautiful to look at and uh, that storm is going to go into the midwest and decay over the great lakes but the warm front's never going to make it into new england we're going to be having a, a cool east and southeast and northeast wind here monday tuesday with some drizzle and maybe even steady rain for southern new england and then a cold front's going to actually drip in here on Wednesday with more rain and a low pressure system south of New England. So it looks kind of cold and wet uh, for a lot of this week in southern New England. Northern New England should be drier. And then the real cold front's going to come in Thursday, Friday. And again, with a wave of low pressure, southern New England may end up wet with that one. Now, it's not going to rain all that time, but there's going to be periods. And it may end up actually cold enough in the mountains that on Mother's Day, there will be ski areas open. And it may actually be snowing in our mountains with a potential record cold high pressure system coming in here after Mother's Day weekend. And even after that, there's some pretty cold weather. So looking like at least uh, the uh, first third of May is going to be on the chilly side. Okay, that's enough for today. Headed to do some burning on Cape Cod. Yes, it's okay to burn today on Cape Cod where the wind should be light and it did rain a little bit this week. Sometimes going in the door is just as fun as out the door because Steve and Rex play. It's the point I roll video. Where's Rex? Where's Rex? Where's he doing? Where's he doing? Oh well, one of these days. Yeah, we used to have a place right there. Steve, you gotta chase Rex. Get him with the 